Okay, there we go. Dang, that was loud. What kind of scooter is that? <laughs> Mongoose? Yeah. Here, I got an idea. You wanna trade for a few minutes? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, All right, here you go. guys welcome back to another video now we're back at my local today it's like 4 35 and i discovered something like that's not good at all so this deck that i'm riding the ethic pandemonium deck i've been riding for about two months and i was riding for like five minutes before i started filming this and i discovered that the crack in this is getting really really big i really hope this thing doesn't crack before this weekend and if you don't know this weekend there's a competition at newport skate park that's october 26th so it's a saturday and i really hope this doesn't crack before then because if it does I'm kind of screwed. So let's hope that this doesn't crack, because that would be bad. So we're just gonna have a good sesh, hopefully not die, because it's kind of cold, and falling in the cold is not good. Let's get a couple clips warm up and have some fun. So we'll get a couple in the half pipe real quick. Let's start off with a whip, feeble, smith to bar. So whip, feeble, that was sketch, smith, bar, and double with air. Let's try and get a lip, switch to front smith, then we'll just get weird with it after that. So front lip, front smith, Okay, we didn't do anything after. I don't think I've ever done this before. We're gonna do salad disaster and then whip into the corner. Salad disaster, that was a feeble. Salad disaster. Oh, I think I have done that now that I think about it. How about we actually get a backflip slide and then whip? Uh, I think I'm gonna do it on this side. This side's a little bit more slippery. After I land this or try this trick a bunch of times, I gotta tell you something. Oh, unfortunately that's kind of scary to throw, but I think we'll get it. Oh, I guess not. That was kind of easy. I'm actually pretty stoked on that. So this thing I gotta tell you guys about. So two videos ago, I asked you guys for 30 likes and I'd do this challenge. So I gave you guys a week to get 30 likes on this specific video. And because you guys are awesome enough, I got 30 likes in under like 24 hours. So I wanna thank you guys for that. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna do it today because the challenge is pretty freaking dangerous. I don't wanna hurt myself before a competition. So I think we'll do it next video, like the vi or the video after the competition. Does that make sense? The new Fort Comp video will probably be out either on Monday or Wednesday of next week. The challenge I have to accomplish will probably be out on Saturday of next week, Saturday or Wednesday, one of the two. I'm pretty confident it won't be earlier than that and I'm also pretty confident it won't be later. So that's what I had to tell you. Are we cool with that? All right, cool. I'm gonna try a trick on this coping that I haven't tried ever. So I wanna try and go fakie, skip the fakie feeble and just go straight to fakie smith and then maybe try and switch to front smith. This coping slippery, so I'm probably gonna do it on this side. Just gonna skip it. Okay, that actually might work. Okay. Oh my God, why is that like so weird? Oh, I can't hang on. Oh, oh that was perfect. Ugh. Oh my God. That was as sketchy as can be. I don't think I'm gonna take that, so we're gonna try and do it again. But obviously cleaner than the last one. Oh my god, why? Oh, that would have been so good. Dang it! Oh, why? If I'm gonna get better than that. Try and get another one. We'll drop in here and then we're gonna do gap to back lip on that hip. We'll try triple lip over the pyramid and then we'll try front bullet on the quarter. Gap, back lip, not much speed. Still pulled it though. And blunt, and I completely missed. Oh. Triple speed. Wow, that was actually a really good front blunt. I haven't done one of those in a while, especially not that good. Let's get a little line in this little area. 270 bar on this hip, we'll try and get a feeble down the hubba, and then we'll do front 50 or front feeble 270 bar in the little corner. 270 bar and, I didn't throw it. First thing first, 270 bar. Go down the hubba. And now front feeble, you know what, we'll switch up. We'll do front feeble 270 width. Sweet, we saw the gate real quick. My deck snaps on this, I'm gonna cry. I swear, every single time I do that trick, somebody reacts and it's hysterical. Oh, dang it, foot came off. Oh, goodness, heal it. And then, when do you think 360? That decade? Here we got a bright fly out. 
Yes, we can. That brought kind of hurt my feet. I landed like right on the head tube like that. What kind of scooter is that? <laughs> Mongoose? Yeah. Here, I got an idea. You want to trade for a few minutes? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, All right, here you go. Dude, these grips are like plastic. Oh my. Okay, so what's your name? Grayson. Grayson. So he's got my scooter. I have his. This will be an interesting idea, I guess. This is $60. Yeah, enjoy it. I'm going to try and enjoy this. So we're going to try and have some fun, or I'm going to try and have some fun on this $60 scooter. So this is a mongoose. Y'all, I'm assuming you got this from Walmart, right? What? Amazon, Walmart? Amazon. Okay. So I thought. So uh, the bars are stupidly crooked. That's going to be an issue. Dude, I'm telling you, these grips are actually horrible. Okay, so we got some steel bars. These look like Apex Bull bars. We got some, I don't even know what this compression is, and we got like... 100 milli wheels, but I'm gonna try and do my best and get a session on this. So I'm gonna call this the cheapest pro scooter you can get for $50. I know it's $60, but it's pretty close. So I'm just gonna count that. All right, so I'm just gonna do my best to have some sort of a session on this. I ride a 20.5 inch deck. This is like 19, so it uh, shortens the foot space. Is it dialed though? Oh, no, not at all. Get a couple tricks in the half pipe. So we'll get like a lip. Okay, the deck slides for some reason. I have actually no idea why, but it still does, which is interesting. How long have you had this? July, so like a couple months. So you just started riding it like a couple days ago? The goal for this is I'm pretty much just going to ride my regular scooter, but it's going to be on this. So we're going to do all the stuff we do on my regular scooter, but on this. Hit this hip. Oh my god, it goes so much slower. That's something I'm going to have to get used to. These wheels are 100 millimeters, mine are 110, which doesn't sound like a big difference, but it's a big difference. Let's try and get like a, uh, just a tail whip. Oh my god! Dude, it's so weird! The bars are quite heavy. So like all the front half is really heavy. But the deck is actually not bad. And the deck isn't bad. I feel like a lot of people ride the same size and same dimensions. So let's try this whip over that pyramid again. Oh my god, why is this so difficult? Oh dude, it's so hard to get speed. The wheels are so tiny. And I can definitely hear the bearings are shot. Whoopsies. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, it can withstand that. So like I said earlier, the grips are like super hard. So we're gonna challenge myself and do some bar spins. So we'll try and do a bar spin over this. Oh, it hurts. It's like there's not even any grips. I'll try and like prove some way that these are like plastic. Like, they are extremely not soft. All right, let's try and 360 this. When I say try, I mean like try, because I don't have high hopes. Whoa! Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be as bad as the tail up and the bar spin because of the fact- Oh wait, I didn't even finish the bar spin. Let me try that. I can't believe I just realized that. That was weird. <laughs> There's the bar spin again. Okay, it actually worked. Heel whip. Oh, nope, never mind. Didn't feel comfortable. Honestly, for just $60, this is a pretty decent starter pack. You got decent height, decent everything. It'll fit a lot of people, but it's just not very like- Well, this thing's really undialed and not very maintained. As of right now, the guy who owns this doesn't maintain it very well, I can just tell. Everything's just kind of really loose and rattly and sketch. Let's try and maybe get a bry on this. I would consider myself really good at bry's on my regular scooter, but this isn't even close to my regular scooter, so it'll be interesting. I'm going to give this scooter a bry flip real quick. I'll be really impressed if I can get this first try. Oh, these wheels are definitely going to dehub if I can do that like 20 times. Oh my god. Oh, well I bried it. Huh, that wasn't that hard. Let's try a couple more things on this scooter before I give it back. So I'm gonna hit the rail next. All right, let's hit this rail. Okay, that was really sketchy. It like shook. The second I hit the rail, the whole thing just shook. Kind of contemplating whether I wanna hit the gate. So we'll just try it. All right, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to get enough speed for this, but I'm gonna try and do my best. So we got mad speed right now. Dude, I oh goodness. And we got spanked. Oh, it's so freaking slow. Hold up, buddy, hold up. Oh boy. Great. Got enough speed, I think. Okay. There we go. Dang, that was loud. I need my scooter back. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. How the freaking grips are actually like real grips, not cardboard. I would say that scooter is like not bad for what you pay for. You can get a lot better quality for a little bit more money, like $200. But that's not bad for the price. So I would recommend it if you don't have a lot of money and you want to start riding a scooter. I'm pretty sure it's simply just called the Mongoose Pro Scooter. So if you want to look that up on Amazon, it'll probably come up. And you'll find some, apparently, according to him, it's $60. I didn't really do my research yet. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much it for me today. So I'll catch you guys on Monday. This is Saturday. So later.